Hey guys, in this short video, I want to share with you some of the science behind ginkgo biloba's ability to improve memory in various aspects of cognition. Ginkgo biloba has long been used in Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine as a brain tonic. And most of ginkgo biloba's beneficial mechanisms on the brain come down to its ability to actually inhibit the overproduction of nitric oxide, relax the smooth muscle and the capillaries in the brain to improve the flow of blood to and from the brain, which results in improved brain function and therefore cognitive function. However, there are other components to ginkgo biloba that give it its positive or protective effects to the brain. And in particular, it has beneficial effects to preventing or slowing cognitive decline and actually improving various aspects of cognition, particularly memory. One of the major benefits of ginkgo biloba, in fact, other than acting as an overall brain protective herb and a neuroprotectant, is its ability to improve memory. And I want to talk to you about some of the science behind ginkgo biloba's specific ability to improve this aspect of cognitive function. So first and foremost, an extract of ginkgo biloba contains potent bioactive chemicals, particularly ginkolides, bilobolides, and various flavonoids. And these are all antioxidant-like substances that have specific beneficial effects for improving memory. In fact, if we look to a clinical study that was done in Germany, people who supplemented with ginkgo biloba actually had a significant improvement in a memory recall test after only six weeks of supplementing with ginkgo biloba. And this isn't the only study that's been done verifying ginkgo biloba's ability to improve various aspects of cognition and particularly memory. There are other studies that have verified that ginkgo biloba may be a preventative or protective substance against dementia. And what is one of the major symptoms or key features of dementia? Memory loss. And what these other studies found was that these active constituents in ginkgo biloba extract, the bilobolides and the ginkolides and the various flavonoids, have the ability to modulate the excitotoxic glutamate transmissions in the brain. Basically, glutamate is an excitatory substance that can be overly produced in the brain, which damages or even kills. It excites brain cells to the point of cell death. And over time, the decrease or significant decrease production in brain cells can lead to not just degenerative issues of the brain, but cognitive decline, dementia, and of course, memory loss. So in simpler terms, one of the major ways that ginkgo biloba improves memory and protects the brain and various aspects of cognition is by acting basically as a powerful antioxidant in the specific ability to modulate the overproduction of excitatory glutamate in the brain, which can damage your brain. And this specific ability to modulate the glutamate activity in the brain is not just beneficial for dementia and memory loss, but it's also gonna be preventative or protective against things like Alzheimer's. And this is because one of the key features, the physiological biomarkers of Alzheimer's, is the development of amyloid plaque in the brain. So from my understanding, what tends to precede the amyloid aggregation or the amyloid plaque development is the overproduction of the excitatory toxic glutamate, which could be the byproduct of a GABA deficiency, excess cortisol, or various toxins in the brain, whatever the case. But usually there's some sort of stress or toxicity. This increases the damaging effects of glutamate, and this starts to alter and increase amyloid aggregation, leading to this biomarker that is seen in Alzheimer's disease, which is typically referred to as amyloid plaque development on the brain. But really all of this is just a more thorough or detailed way of saying that ginkgo biloba is a powerful antioxidant and free radical scavenger that specifically modulates the production of the excitatory glutamate. And again, this is gonna be protective to the physical brain, but this can also be protective to various aspects of cognition because when certain parts of the brain become damaged by excitatory glutamate, we start to lose various aspects of cognition, memory being one of those. So for all of you who have been asking about ginkgo biloba and its beneficial effects, particularly to cognitive function, this is just one of the major mechanisms from my research and understanding, and I thought I would share it with all of you. However, if you are interested in checking out some of this research, 
for yourself. I will be linking the study I'm referencing beneath this video per usual, so that way you can do some of your own investigating. But that does bring this video to a close, so if you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos if you haven't already. And of course, if you're interested in learning more about Ginkgo Biloba's many therapeutic health benefits and diving deeper into the details, be sure to check out our blog where we post frequently about this particular herb. Or for those of you who are fans of Ginkgo Biloba already interested in supplementing with a high quality Ginkgo Biloba extract for these particular benefits, also be sure to check out our online tonic herb shop. All of this you can find in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.